scalar functions with variable number of arguments really it sounds too much interesting so let us show you that using one sample scalar code and its execution and explanation how a scalar function can also have variable number of arguments as when required you will be passing different number of arguments and it will be executing accordingly so here is the demonstration when we don't know that how many arguments we shall want to pass then we can use a variable argument for this so here is the respective syntax for us so definition here we are having that this sum so this is one function and arx is of type integer but here it can have multiple integer values and it returns a single integer as output so here is the respective code so in this particular for this arg will be initialized with one of the values from this args each for each and every iteration and looping and that value in arg will be added with the result initially the result is having the value 0 so this result will get incremented will get added with the current value of arg and ultimately the value of result will be returned and as this result is getting returned so it is of the type integer so that's why its output argument will be of the type integer so now let me execute this code here and let me show you that how the outputs are coming so name of the function is sum so I'm passing this value so 10 plus 5 15 plus 20 so 35 is the answer but if I pass another value say 1200 then obviously we'll be getting the output as one two three five so in this way i have shown you that this particular sum function has got three integers in the first case but here we have passed five integers in the second time when i call this sum function so in this video we have discussed scala functions with variable number of arguments thanks for watching this video